Stanford University. All the way from a jacquard loom to the Babbage machines to the very early electronic computers, the fundamentals have been about manipulation of information. Computation and computers are bound by laws of physics, primarily because bits are physical entities. That notion implies that you can use computers to actually manipulate matter. We don't want to manipulate information because this is something that your electronic computer can actually do. What we have implemented is a platform where we utilize exactly the same techniques to manipulate water droplets. Droplets are fascinating as a material because they're a little bag. You can put anything you want in it. And in the field of microfluidics, there are thousands of applications people have explored that utilize these droplets as little beakers. We're going to use them to transport physical materials inside them. Let them be chemical components, biological components that you can analyze, synthesize very fast and very efficiently. We utilize a ferrofluid droplet, which is primarily just essentially a floating liquid magnet. This system of coils generates the magnetic fields that act as a clock to the system. The water droplets respond to the magnetic fields that are generated by the coils. On our microfluidic chips, we have these tracks of metallic bars that get magnetized. They look like little T and I bars. The way you would organize them on a two-dimensional surface gives you arbitrary control of a magnetic landscape. Just by changing the layout of the metallic bars, we can do any logic operation that exists. We want to take that exact system and keep making it smaller and smaller and faster and faster so that it can do more operations per time, can work with smaller sample sizes, and can do more complex reactions. It's not about manipulating information faster, but it's about manipulating matter faster. And that is a capability that we have not had until now. It allows us to manipulate this material in a fundamentally new way. 